In the early days of our startup together, while I worked on the company full-time, Malcolm was finishing his time as a full-time student at Stanford's Graduate School of Business, where he learned about a lot of things in the startup world that even many entrepreneurs don't know about. One of those things is, are, is search funds. I'd never heard of them before. They're a really fascinating format of entrepreneurship, and I'd love for him to share what they are. So, you know, no matter what type of entrepreneur you are, you know, there's, there's a lot of very different types. Like, there is the medical startup founding team, which is going to have an entirely different path, and I should do a video on that, than like a marketplace startup or a technology startup. Um, but the type of startup that has the most deviant path is the search fund. What you do as a search fund team is you raise typically around a couple hundred thousand dollars, uh, generally as two people, of, you know, like max three people, to search the U.S. for a year for a specific type of company you told your investors you were going to look for. And you're looking for generally small companies, like maybe like a sign making company or like a clay pot making company or a label making company. You know, they're, they're generally in much more boring industries. And then eventually you find one and you, 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 you negotiate a price for it. And then you go back to your in initial investors and then like the larger search fund community and you raise the money you need to buy it. You know, however many, a few million dollars you need to buy it with the expectation that it will grow. Uh, and, and then you move to wherever, you know, a random place uh, to, to run this company. And not only is it different in that basically you're taking over like a small company, like a, you know, a tow truck company or uh, something like that. Um, they're different in the returns and the amount of money you can expect to make. You know, in a success scenario, you're looking at making a few million dollars personally, which is much less than you would typically make on a startup. Uh, however, the failure rate is also much lower. You're only looking at about a 50% failure rate, uh, if I remember correctly. It's been a while since we studied this. Um, but the idea is that there's, there's many different models of entrepreneurship out there. Uh, and the search funds are one of, I think, the more interesting models that said, I think it should be pointed out that to garner that initial investment, to go out and search for a company to turn over, you'll probably need a prestigious degree and a pretty good network. So this is something that mostly applies, I think, to Stanford and Harvard business school graduates. Yeah, I mean, I think that there was some statistic recently where a, a, a very large percent of the people were coming out of Stanford or Harvard who were able to do search funds. And I think its search funds came out of Stanford. Did they not? I think so. I, I don't remember. It's been a while. At any rate, it's an interesting format, and you can always look them up more on your own. But it's fun to think about all the different ways that one might come into this strange career. 